So here is the former UFC world title challenger, perennial heavyweight contender type, the Reem, Alistair Overeem. His crowning achievement, really, that K-1 World Grand Prix Championship in kickboxing, still in search of that elusive UFC title. No one expected him to win that kickboxing right. world championship. But he went out there and he beat some of the biggest names in kickboxing history. But once he was back in MMA, he has been a true and absolute savage from becoming the dream world champion becoming the strike force heavyweight champion. He's done about everything you can do in the sport of mixed martial arts. Of course, he made his UFC debut famously against Brock Lesnar. A lot of the recent wins for the ring have come by knockout or TKO. They'll be chasing another highlight here tonight. How about the presence of Alistair Over? He has graced the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. Here he is, the undisputed baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion. And man, does he have all the confidence and the self-belief that comes with that distinction. Yeah, when you're the baddest man on the planet, you are confident. You have to be a bit arrogant, a bit cocky. And that's what this guy has. He has been here on so many different occasions. This is like another night in the office, which you can never tell by the way that he prepared. You watch him prepare. He treats every one of these defenses as, as if it's the first time he's fighting for a UFC championship. No, you put that well. He has had that packed-in intensity about him this week, trying to occupy some headspace in the challenger. Huge heavyweight title fight is upon us. We'll be long now, folks. All right, with that, both fighters have now graced the octagon. They will lock the door behind them, ready to go with a crazy fight here at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Today. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> the champion fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Vitor the Phenom Belfort. Referee Herb Great Dean fight. will handle the action Great. in the octagon. All right, so here we go with this highly anticipated stand-up only event. You gotta play by the rules. There are on a ton of them, but there is no grappling of any type, either on the feet or on the ground. Fighters cannot do follow-up strikes on the floor as well, so that bears watching here. And oh, that's a huge connection there, DC. He Mass is hurt. Massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Oh! Oh, big right in. All right, he's been very clean with his hooks on the feet here tonight, and it's the way he set it up that has really impressed you. Yeah, it's very impressive to see him pop the jab, pop the right hand, just touch, 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 and then boom, sit down on that hook. He's going to be trying to find it again. You can see him setting up his opponent, trying to get the hands to drop so he can drop that hook over the top. Oh, so he misses with a hook there. There it was again, though. We thought he might go back to it. He did, but unable to connect there. Training. Huge right there, You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to 
start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Absolutely getting after it. Huge shots landing on both sides. Oh. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Belfort gets caught by the inside. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. I mean, geez, Louise. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Man, this is fun to watch if you like striking as these fighters go back and forth. Overeem's eye appears to be closing up by the second. Out of range with that one. Under a minute to go. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. So 31 total strikes have now landed for Alistair Over. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. All right, so after one of the more entertaining rounds in recent UFC history, our next round is upon us. Man, those guys both took some serious damage in that first round. They both took some damage, but they both gave it. They both gave it. Oh! Big right hand lands! It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Oh, left hook to the head is strong. These guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Skin swell right away after he landed that strike. Big combination. Great block there. Well, this fight is a huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Inside the Octagon once again, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 38 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Alistair the Reem Overeem. So Alistair Overeem just continues to get it done while entertaining the masses along the way. Huge win for the Reem tonight. A guy who statistically is about as accurate a striker as we have on this roster. I thought he was efficient tonight, picked his spots well. Yet another shining moment for one of the best heavyweights to ever do it. Congratulations to Alistair Overeem.